Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. It's good to note that Mazen Namdekanu is not only in high spirit, but he's in good health. And it's good to also see him in a different attire, apart from the regular uh, Fendi white shirt that uh, Joggers is always used to wearing to, to the court hearing. Today is wearing something very nice and very different. And of course, we have something to you know render on that matter because right now, uh, Mazen Namdekanu has to air out a lot of things, UGM in particular. IPOB as men and uh, women have decided to also go in the time past and compare Pari Pasu as he begins to explain a lot. Hopefully, we may just maybe hear in his live broadcast, of course, if DSS will give that permission so that he can talk to his team, his team fans and supporters and followers to truly know his stand. Well, before we go into the news proper, like and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Mm, as in that, it really looks good. Okay, well, let's continue with the news. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPB, Mazen Namdekano, has described the killings of innocent people, destruction and unlawful, destru unlawful restrictions of movement in South East as senseless, insisting such heinous acts are perpetrated by groups masquerading as IPOB to give the struggle a bad identity. Namdekano said this when the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, paid him a visit at the detention facility of the Department of State Services, DSS. Soludo described Namdekano as being in high spirit while the visit lasted. He said, I visited Namdekano to facilitate with him and also as a part of the wider consultations with critical stakeholders in search of lasting peace and security in the Southeast. He was in very high spirit and we had quality and frank, dis and frank discussion in a very convivial atmosphere. According to Governor Soludo, if the opportunity arises, Namdekano would love to broadcast to his teaming followers to maintain peace, saying he expressed sadness over what he described as sacrilegious killings of innocent persons, kidnapping, and all forms of criminalities, including the brutal enforcement of senseless sit at home perpetrated by sundry groups claiming to be acting for or on behalf of IPOB. He assured uh, that if the opportunity he will, if given the opportunity, he will be glad to personally broadcast to his followers to maintain the peace. Together, we shall restore peace, security, prosperity in Anambra and in the whole of South East Soludo Road. And of course, in another news, very some time ago, Mazen Namdekan made a tweet concerning UGM. And a, a lot of Nigerians, I guess some of them are actually looking for any way to ensure that it is actually linked to him. But in all, he was able to explain and truly tell the stand where, who the UGMs are, what they represent, and how, if there's any affiliation between him, IPOB, and UGMs. Well, according to um, the user, I said... Um, that there was a tweet made about UGM that got a lot of reactions made by Mazen Namdekano sometime in May 3rd, 2021. It said, there was a time in Nigeria, I'm quoting the, the tweet now, the word, said, there was a time in Nigeria, hashtag Nigeria, when innocent citizens cried against extortion, extrajudicial killings, intimidation, illegal detention, and harassment. But the world maintained grave silence. Today, hashtag UGM have risen to protect and avenge the death of their relations. Everyone is shouting. Now, this is just an observation. Okay, uh, this is coming from me though. Quite a lot of people have been talking Okay, quite a lot of people have been talking uh, from above Namdekano is not blaming. Now, if you look at it properly from the statement, you notice that Namdekano is actually not blaming the UGM for their recent attacks. He said they were only revenging and protecting the death of their relations. This tweet got a lot of reactions and all and all, quite a lot of people talks. One person here said, one thing about us is that we do not forget things that, that differentiate us from Nigerian Republic. Another person says, come back and fight now. Another person is saying, we never again 
We, we say never again to police and army brutalities and killing. Self-defense is backed by local, state, national, and international ethical, and moral, and religious laws and the instrument. All right, but let's look at this critically. Now, if you listen to the tweet, you can, you can go back again and listen to it. He only described what he perceived is the reason for the formation of UGM. He did not take credit to forming them. He did not say he knows them personally, but he just wondered why would a group call themselves UGM and go ahead and defend and protect and do whatever they think is right under their own sin analogy. But he's looking at it that, okay, based, based on what is going on in Nigeria, based on generally what is going on in Nigeria, you would agree with me that sometimes you will scream and shout over a matter and nobody's really paying attention until there's, there's some sort of violence or crime. That's when, so to speak, the government of the day will pay attention. We, we usually like, it's either we pay lip service to things that are, we shouldn't pay lip service to or we just let things lie low until it escalates. Now, Mazen Namikano is only bringing to the fore what um, most people have been neglected. A typical example is hashtag NSAS. Would you also say that Mazen Namikano also is the one that championed or kickstarted or started hashtag NSAS in Nigeria? Of course not. It was born out of Nigerians being tired of police brutality, of um, then SARS was always um, one, one, there's always a case, one case too many, always for SARS. It's either they're uh, checking phones or they're just something very heinous. Nigerians were tired of the processes. They've complained severely. No one was paying attention until hashtags uh, and SARS saga happened and it became a phenomenon, became nationwide. It got the attention of the government and it would immediately fed they disbanded it. But Nigerians have been shouting, screaming, and asking the federal government to do something about this NSAS. Nothing happened about this SARS. Nothing happened until hashtag NSAS happened. Now, that's the same thing as Namdekan is trying to say here. That look, they've been talking about this issue of extortion, uh, inhuman treatment, uh, detention, lawful detention, and all whatnot, all kind of inhuman, uh, 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 all kinds of illegalities going on in the country. And no one is talking. No one is complaining. The Nigerians are talking. No one is actually looking to the matter. Now, UGM happened. He didn't say he's taking credit to it. He didn't say he formed it then. So, it's just like every other person observing a, a trend that no one is trying, no one is looking to, to bring a solution to it. So it, it doesn't mean that UGM is the creation or property of IPUB. It could be far, far from it. It's just an observation. Anybody can observe it. All right, look at what happened in the case of, um, what happened in the case of um, Uche Mwosu, the son-in-law of um, Okorocha, Roger Sokorocha. They said it was, they were marked like UGM. It was later found out that they were actually security personnel. Now, if one didn't know better, they would have said it was UGM. So UGM could be anything or anyone coming to clear justice or injustice as the case may be. That's where we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. So take, do have a nice time.